Unit five, food inventions. Listening five, read and listen. Preserving food. For thousands of years, people have tried to find ways to keep food for longer. In the past, this was important, as people needed to save fresh food for times when it was hard to find, such as the winter. Today, there are still many places without electricity, and people living in these places need to preserve food in ways that don't use fridges. They need to make food last as long as possible. Why doesn't food last? The problem is that all food can grow bacteria, and bacteria spoils food. To preserve food, you have to destroy the bacteria or slow down their growth. There are different ways to do this. One, drying. Drying is the oldest type of food preservation. If water is removed from food, the bacteria can't grow. In ancient times, in hot countries, people simply left fruit and meat outside to dry in the sun and the wind, until all its natural water was gone. This made the fruit last a very long time. Drying fruit sometimes results in a completely new product. For example, grapes turn into raisins, and plums turn into prunes. Drying food in the sun does not work in cooler or wetter climates, but people have other methods to preserve food in cold places. Two, salting. Salting food, especially meat and fish, is another very old way to preserve food. Bacteria cannot grow in a very salty environment, so salted food lasts a long time. In many countries, salt fish or meat has become a traditional food, and people still eat it today. For example, in Portugal, the national dish is salt codfish, and although people could buy fresh fish and refrigerate it, they prefer to eat the preserved fish. Three, canning. A more modern way to preserve food was discovered in 1809 by an inventor called Nicolas Appert. He found that if food is heated at high temperatures and then sealed in a container, the food lasts for months. This is because the bacteria are killed when they are heated and cannot grow again without air. Vegetables and fizzy drinks in cans, and jam and juice in bottles. Are preserved using this method. Four, freezing. Another newer method of food preservation is freezing. In the 1900s, a scientist called Clarence Birdseye went to the Arctic. He noticed that when fish was caught, it froze quickly in the icy conditions. He realized that freezing food slowed down the growth of bacteria. Back home, he invented a way of fast freezing food. Frozen food was first sold in 1930, and was very popular, especially in North America. Today, millions of people have freezers in their homes. All sorts of food, from vegetables to pizza, is frozen in factories before it is transported to supermarkets for us to buy.